Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So with it being the height of white dress season, I thought it would be fun to recap all of the white dresses we've gone over on this channel over the past couple months. You guys know I love my white cotton dresses, so they've been coming in in abundance. I've been looking to fill specific holes in my closet, so I'm very, very picky about what I want to replace the dresses I'm taking out with what's coming in but in any event we're going to run the gamut through my favorite dresses that i tried on from target walmart old navy even nordstrom so we have a very wide price point for you to choose from everything i show you today will be listed and linked down below so let's go ahead and get into it and as i've mentioned before on this channel i'm in the process of flipping all synthetics out of my closet in favor of natural fibers so cotton and organic cotton and linen are my absolute favorites in the summertime so everything i show you today is going to consist of 100% cotton. Okay, so let's start off at Target. Target does a really good job with their white cotton dresses. So the first cotton dress from Target was this really beautiful midi length. Now I loved the conscientious detailing on this dress. You had this beautiful puff sleeve and then what I loved is they went with a wider cuff at the end of the sleeve just to give it like this gorgeous tailored look. You also had the eyelet detailing right along that slight v-neck, very sweet, and of course you had a tiered skirt that was a midi length. My big beef with that one is it was lined, but it had a rayon lining, and that always just drives me crazy if I have a cotton dress. I personally want to have a cotton lining, but overall, the style of this was just so beautiful, very feminine, yet very, very manageable. It's like the perfect dress to wear for almost any occasion, whether you are just stomping around on a random Wednesday or you want to dress it up for a fun event. Okay, next up from Target is the dress I refer to as having like a really endearing frou-frou moment. This is a mini style and it is really, really darling on. Of course, you have that show-stopping ruffle detailing along that V-neck and then that ruffle detailing continues on the skirt, which I said is a mini length. So it hit me right around like mid thigh. And just for height reference, I am five foot four and a half. Now you did have a zippered back, which is great. And this dress was unlined, but I found that it wasn't very transparent. Like you couldn't see undergarments underneath because that cotton had a really nice substantial feel to it. Okay, next up from Target was this puff sleeve mini dress. Oh my goodness. This was so darling. Love the fact that they went with that squared off neckline. I just think it's so chic. This also had pockets. It hit right around mid thigh, so not too crazy short. You have this sweet little tie detail in the back as well, right at the nape of the neck. And this was another one though, unfortunately, that did come with a rayon lining. So if you are not as maniacal as me about linings, this is a great option for you because it's just so sweet on. It really, really is darling. And it's perfect for a warm, sunny day. Okay guys, and the final dress I tried on from Target was this eyelet detail longer sleeve mini dress. Oh my gosh, this dress literally would like sell out, they'd restock it. It would immediately sell out, they'd restock it. I finally got my hands on one and I could totally understand why people were just going crazy over it. The detail work on this dress, given the price, is phenomenal. Now the one thing I will say to keep in mind is it does have a higher collar, although it is a crew neck, it sits kind of high on the neck. So you do have four functional front buttons, but if you don't like to have things like that high on your neck, it might drive you crazy otherwise what a gorgeous dress all of that embroidery continues on the bodice of the dress it continues on the sleeves and then you have that gorgeous scalloped eyelet detailing at the hem so so pretty this one is lined and it does come with a cotton lining okay so kind of taking like a big jump in terms of price points heading to nordstrom so the first dress i tried from nordy's was this one from french connection this is another one that the eyelet detailing was stunning it continued vertically down the front of the dress which does have a gathering at the waist so you're going to get that perfect beautiful feminine silhouette 
But the show-stopping moment for this dress was definitely that eyelet detail work on the elbow of the sleeve. Wow, it really was unique and special. This is a great dress if you're looking to add more of like a statement piece to your collection, but you also want something that just inherently is gonna be timeless as well, which you're always going to have with a white cotton dress. This is a mini length, so it's another one that's going to hit right around mid-thigh, just depending on how tall you are. And it also was lined with a cotton lining. Now, if you are in the market for just a timeless classic like Jackie O, a beautiful white shirt dress, oh my gosh, you guys have to check this one out. This is the other one from Nordstrom's that I got to try on absolutely beautiful i mean what can you say about this dress it just is what it is it's never going to go out of style it is so chic and sophisticated on it does have that collared neck you have the functional front buttons obviously a little bit of gathering at the waist you do have pockets the one thing i will say is this dress is a little bit see-through i mentioned in the corresponding video for this dress that when i tried it on for my husband i just happened to have black lingerie on which i would never wear under a white cotton anything out in public and he was like whoa i can see everything so keep in mind anytime you wear a white cotton dress a white cotton shirt white cotton bottoms always wear nude undergarments and when i say nude i simply mean just match your undergarments as closely as possible to your skin tone that way they will disappear completely and you won't be giving people a free show okay so next up is old navy which is the most recent video i did but they had two that kind of piqued my interest the first was this one here i loved so many things about this dress this is another one that has a puff sleeve but what makes this one remarkable is the fact that they added a gorgeous very luxurious feeling cotton lining to the puff so not only does that maintain the integrity and the volume of the puff sleeve it just feels like gorgeous on the skin another squared off neckline which i love higher waist so i would say this is like an empire waist and then you do have pockets it is lined, but it is only lined with a cotton lining down to this little hem here. So this hits right about the knees, which is great because it's gonna give you that added coverage to help conceal your lingerie. And then on the midi skirt, you do have a ruffled tier at the bottom. Also another thing that this dress has going for it is you do have smocking in the back, so that's always going to ensure the perfect fit. It's so versatile. I mean, what are you not wearing a dress like this to? You can dress her up, you can dress her down, you can wear it in so many different ways. second dress I tried on from Old Navy was this one here. This design just tends to be a staple in every retailer's arsenal every spring and summer year after year. This has obviously a traditional crew neck. This is considered a slub knit and then you do have a short sleeve. You do have pockets and then you have this tiered ruffled skirt which is so sweet. What I liked most about this dress is it's very swingy. It's just very swingy and has a volume that is also very sweet. It's manageable, it looks great with sneakers, it looks great with heels, it looks great with sandals, it looks great no matter how you style it. But again, just keep in mind that because it is a slub knit, the cotton is a little bit thinner. So you are definitely going to see undergarments underneath unless you stick with those nude colored tones. And as I mentioned before, never ever ever try to wear white lingerie under a white cotton anything because it will like scream through. It is the strangest effect, but you will absolutely be able to see everything. Okay guys, so the last two dresses to recap for you came from Walmart. This first one was a really gorgeous, like timeless, 
faux wrap design, beautiful. And what I loved is the fact that they added a little closure right at the bodice, which is obviously going to prevent you from having any uh, peekaboo moments going on, which is always a good thing. You do have a tie at the waist, but that belt can be detachable. And then you do have a longer skirt as well. So this one hit me right around the ankles. And again, for reference, I'm five feet, four and a half. It was not lined, but it did have a zippered back and it also did not come with any pockets. Okay guys, and the final dress to recap for you is this style here from Walmart. This was really sweetly done. Of course, it has that smocked bodice and the smocking is really, really comfortable on. It's very soft. It doesn't feel harsh against the skin. You also have those gorgeous puff sleeves that are convertible. You can wear them on the shoulder. You can wear them off. It is a little bit higher of a waistline. This is another one that is going to hit you right around the ankle. So I would say it's somewhere between like a midi and a maxi. And then this also is unlined. Okay guys, so that'll do it. Just briefly recapping some of the dresses I've gotten my hands on and tried over the past couple months. As I mentioned before, I will list and link everything for you down below. But in any event, thank you guys so much for spending your time with me today. I hope you're having a good one and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.